So it's official, Jose Mourinho has been sacked by Chelsea Football Club. And to be honest, I think it's a little unjust. Yes, they're doing ridiculously shit in the league. But personally, I think it's down to a lot of the players. Like, they just seem disinterested. You've got players like Hazard and Costa and Fabregas and, you know, all the big names that were brilliant last year that just are absolutely shite this year. And yeah, it can be down to the manager at some points, but you just look at it and there's just too many. I just generally think they just got sick of Mourinho for whatever reason and yeah, just didn't perform for them. Willian was their only consistent performer and yeah, he showed desire, but I think mistakes Mourinho made certainly were selling players like Schürrle in the January transfer window. I think he could have done something when Hazard wasn't on form. He could have came in and scored or assisted a few. You've also got other questionable decisions like his obsession with making players track back. Um, that doesn't help midfielders sometimes, and that's why other midfielders like Juan Mata and Kevin De Bruyne have been pushed out of the squad. And maybe they could have helped, well, probably they could have seen as Lukaku, but at the time it didn't look as though it was as bad a decision as what it looks now because of how good the players are. But he's still a top quality coach. He's the only one that's won four different countries. Like He's won at four different countries. Uh, he's won Portugal, that's the one, Portugal. Italy, Spain and England. He's won in England twice. And yeah, obviously there's that banner going around with Arsenal fans taking the piss out of them. But then Mourinho's been like all around Europe and came back and won the Premier League again before Wenger has. But yeah, he is a top quality coach. And yeah, as a Manchester United fan, I'll do another video on that. Would I take Mourinho at Manchester United? Yeah, I would. Honestly, I really would. I think he's got, well, he's a proven winner, even if it's only short term. Because he doesn't seem to stay anywhere too long. Even Chelsea, like, is, is home, I suppose. He's been there six years in total. But, yeah, he doesn't seem to stay here too long. But two or three years, I would take him. I think he, for the first two years, that would be fantastic. Usually, he's unbelievable there. And then the third year, he seems to have a third-year syndrome where he decides to uh, something, goes, something goes wrong and he gets sacked, essentially. So, yeah, I would take him for two years, but I'll leave that for another video. But in terms of Chelsea, where do they go now? Rumours of Gus Hiddink, Goose, Goose Hiddink taking the job for the rest of the season and then they're pursuing their main target, which is Diego Simeone. Uh, I don't know if that one's attainable, but there'll be loads of other managers. Like, obviously, they could enter the fray for Pep Guardiola. There's rumours of Angelo already taking a job at Bayern. So the manager, Mary Go round is like starting to spin and Mourinho sacking is the start of it so there's going to be a lot of rumours a lot of interesting things happening with the Premier League I suppose if you're a Chelsea fan do you agree with it do you not if you're not a Chelsea fan do you agree with it or not as a Manchester United fan I think it's better for Manchester United that Mourinho went because I think eventually in January maybe next season he could have got Chelsea back to a respectable level but he's gone now so what do you think let me know in the comments below hopefully you have enjoyed and yeah peace